I continue to hear this over and over and over again. People may say that we all are sinners. And the only thing that we have to do is believe. And when we die, we are going to heaven. So God does not expect us to not sin. Or some people may say, well, since Jesus Christ sacrificed himself, we don't have to be righteous. Like, we can do whatever we want to do, and we are still saved. So, if I want to have sex with a person's wife, hey, I am saved. If I want to get drunk and do drugs, hey, I am saved. If I want to do very vile and grotesque things, hey, <laughs> I am still saved. Let's go to Romans chapter 3 and 23. The scripture where they say that we all are sinners. And what I was saying, let's go there. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So first of all, this is not saying that we all are sinners. This is saying that we all have sinned. Past tense, not present tense or future tense. Just past tense tense we all have sinned but we are not currently sinning if you are at the point where you are sinning every day all day boom 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 there is no change to how you are that is an issue now if you are trying to change i am not trying to discourage you but you are not saved yet. You are still a sinner. Why? Because you are currently, constantly, consistently, persistently sinning. Purposely. <laughs> you are sinning. Do we make mistakes? Yes. Kev makes mistakes too. And when I make a mistake, I have to repent. But it is not every day, all day, boom, 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 boom. No. Every so often. I pray this makes sense. Hey, Kevin, I'm, I am still not believing in what you are saying, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go to Romans 6 and 13. We are still in Romans, right? So you can't say that I am making anything up or anything like that. Let's go to it. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Okay. So if God does not care about us sinning, and you are saying that we all are sinners anyways, if God does not care about us sinning, why is the Apostle Paul saying to stop sinning? Stop committing sin. You say that we all are sinners, and all we have to do is believe in God, and we are going to heaven afterward, right? If that is true, why is the Apostle Paul telling us to stop sinning? Obviously, you are taking things out of context. So that means that we all aren't sinners. You are only a sinner when you continue to sin. <laughs> that makes sense, right? If you are not continuing to do something, you can't be what I claim you to be, right? Okay. 
Let's get back to it. But yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. So what this is saying, there has to be a change. If you say that you believe in God and an atheist is saying that they don't believe in God, if the believer of God is acting like the atheist, how can the believer of God say that he or she is going to heaven and the atheist is going to hell when their lifestyles are the same? You can believe in whatever you want to, but if your ways don't change, you are not a Christian. You are not a servant of God. Going to a church does not make you a Christian. The same way as me going to basketball games doesn't make me a basketball player. I just go to the games. But I am not doing anything with basketball. How can I call myself a pool player? Or how can you say that I am a pool player when I don't play pool? I may go to the pool house and watch people play pool, but how can I be a pool player unless I play it? How can I be a Christian if I only go to the church but not follow God's rules? Okay, let's continue on. In your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. So Paul is saying, be righteous. How do you be righteous? By following God's rules and regulations. Romans 3 and 23. We all are not sinners. We all have sinned. Let me highlight it. <laughs> let's make it pink. Oops. Let's make it pink. Okay. We all have sinned. Sinned. Past tense. Not current tense. Not continuous. Not future tense. Past tense. I pray that this makes sense. And I may have to speak about this in another video. But let me keep it right here. We all are not sinners. You are a sinner. I am not a sinner. Other people, some other people are not sinners. Only you and those other people who are making excuses for their sin are sinners. So don't lump me in with you because we all are not sinners. No. So I pray that this makes sense. Because you can go right to chapter 6 and there are many more places in Romans where Paul is speaking and talking to you about things to not do. There are rules that we have to abide by. So you can't get drunk every day and say that you are saved. You can't be having sex with men and women and say that you are saved and you are continuing to do it over and over again. You can't be doing all these drugs and stuff and say that you are saved. You can't be cutting yourself all day long and say that you are saved. No. You are not saved. You are saved when? When you are following God's rules and regulations. Until then, you are still a sinner. I won't say that you are as bad as an atheist, but your lifestyle is that way if you are continuing to sin, boom, 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 and I am not trying to discourage you. If you are not at that point yet, Continue on, push on. 
because it took me a very long time to do things right. And I still got a ways to go because, let me say this, we all are growing more and more in God. So we are supposed to become more and more like Jesus Christ each and every day. And I am nothing or at the maximum amount of how Jesus was. So I still have to grow. I pray that makes sense. I am not saying that I'm having sex with girls and, and doing weed and popping pills and stuff like that. I am not saying that. But until I get to how Jesus Christ is or was, whatever you want to say, we still have to grow. But you should never be at the point where you are, or you can't say that you are saved when you are doing wrong, like boom, 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 all day, every day. You are not saved. Some people are seriously tell me that. I'm like, what? Obviously, you are not reading the Bible. Skip what these other preachers are saying. Read what the Bible is saying. From the doctrine of once saved, always saved, how can it be true when Paul is telling you to stop sinning? You can't be saved in a sinner at the same time. How is that possible? So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.